3D movies changed the way we experience the cinema, but a pair of plastic glasses is required to be fully immersed in the new world. Now, researchers have designed a prototype screen that displays images in 3D without the need for annoying eyewear. Called Cinema 3D, this technology uses mirrors and lenses to display a narrow range of angular images and replicate the same content to all seats in the cinema. The Massachusetts Institute of Technology's Computer Science and Artificial Intelligence Lab and Israel's Wiseman Institute of Science collaborated in bringing this new technology to theaters. Existing approaches to glasses-free 3D require screens whose resolution requirements are so enormous that they are completely impractical, MIT professor Wojciech Matusik, one of the co-authors on a related paper whose first author is Wiseman PhD Natalie Afrat, told MIT News. This is the first technical approach that allows for glasses-free 3D on a large scale. Although glasses-free 3D technology isn't new, MIT's and Wiseman's system would pioneer an industry for cinemas. The technology used in 3D TV sets consists of a series of slits in front of the screen that lets the viewer see a different set of pixels and creates a simulated sense of depth. However, this method isn't practical on a larger scale and comes at a cost of lower image resolution. To recreate this experience on a large screen, the team designed new physical projectors that cover the entire angular range of the audience. Cinema 3D encodes multiple parallax barriers in a single display, which allows each moviegoer to see a parallax barrier tailored to their position, regardless if they are in the front row or all the way in the back. The team's prototype screen consists of three optical layers, angle reduction elements, vertical lenslets, and slanted horizontal mirrors. The angle reduction elements improve the vertical resolution as they bend the rays emerging from each row of viewers towards the vertical lenslets, into a smaller angular range, researchers share in the published study. This allows us to use a smaller vertical spacing. The vertical lenslets are cylindrical lenslets designed to refract the vertical component of the rays toward the slanted mirrors. The slanted mirrors replace the slanted barrier, which, like the original barriers, provides rays from each viewer row with the right disparity. That range of views is then replicated across the theater by a series of mirrors and lenses within Cinema 3D's special optic system. With a 3D TV, you have to account for people moving around to watch from different angles, which means that you have to divide up limited number of pixels to be projected so that the viewer sees the image from wherever they are, says Gordon Wettstein an assistant professor of electrical engineering at Stanford University, who was not involved in the research. The authors cleverly exploited the fact that theaters have a unique setup in which every person sits in a more or less fixed position the whole time. The team has noted that the system isn't market-ready, as it requires 50 sets of mirrors and lenses and is no larger than a pad of paper. However, they do believe it could work in any context in which 3D visuals would be shown to multiple people at the same time, such as billboards or storefront advertisements. Matusik says that the team hopes to build a larger version of a display and to further refine the optics to continue to improve the image resolution. It remains to be seen whether the approach is financially feasible enough to scale up to a full-blown theater, says Matusik. But we are optimistic that this is an important next step in developing glasses-free 3D for large spaces like movie theaters and auditoriums.